Uh, so far on the IRT crowd, it's been a fairly intimate affair, but now has our budgets raised, we can afford actually someone attractive to do the intro. So, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dean Hannon. <laughs> Hello, welcome to episode 3 of the I Heart Tea Crowd, joined today by the gentleman, the most stylish man in music, Mr. Neil Hannon. Oh, How are you? Now that Robert Palmer's dead. Yeah, I imagine there's a few more already been ticking off the list going, oh. now I'm officially, officially number one. Hardly. Imagine Michael yeah. Jackson, kind of, you thinking, yeah, I could have that. <laughs> Take care of that, Matthew. But, anyway, so you are in town for the, the JD set on the 1st of April. Yeah. Well, that must be a nice feeling, is it? Being able to sell out an entire room and not even have to play your own music. Although it is the 1st of yeah. April, so I'm, I'm half expecting the audience to not turn up as a practical joke. Yeah. But, well, uh, so yeah, there's I mean, going to be a lot of JD in one night. We'll have an L drink to it anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but, are you, which one do you look forward to playing the most on that night? Uh, I'm not going to choose because I chose the album because I love it so much, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I like all the tracks, especially the way uh, my friends play. So. Mm. I'm looking forward to hearing you wonder about the possibilities of Knox Coma because yeah, if anyone thankfully uh, Jake is singing that song. Oh really? I can't swear during songs. No, I'm swearing that song. It just sounds wrong coming yeah. out of my mouth. And I've been trying to explain what is Knox Coma and I still haven't got it, even though I'm quite poor at English. Uh, uh, you know, I know a lot of words, but I don't know where to put the comma in them. <laughs> <laughs> Which, who gives a fuck about it? Link. Link. There you go. Right, sir, you're going to be joining us in the Big T Inquisition. Crikey. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is the fun part. This is the fun part, right, sir? If you track down Zoller Speaks, the magical fortune teller from Big, that made a little boy turn into Tom Hanks, what would you wish for? Well, I certainly wouldn't wish to be brought back to my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a fate worse than death. Um, I would wish um, to uh, for my hair to always be uh, at the right length. To never that have is to oh, go, that is a nightmare. To never have to go to the hairdresser, and, yeah. you know, with that slight fear in your heart that it's going to go wrong this time, and as the, it often has. Oh, it has gone wrong for me just recently. And the big fear is obviously it's the day that you decide to go is the day that you're like, oh, this, this. This looks good. It's a scary moment. Well, if you wouldn't wish to be Tom Hanks, no? No, I mean, I admire his, his easygoing nature. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I suppose if you delve into his life now, it would be kind of confusing, because you, the Apollo 13 days are behind you. I'd also so. get older, which is not good. No, that's not good. <laughs> That'd be the exact opposite of what he, not the exact thing he was going for in big. Indeed. So, there you go. Perfect length here. Question two. As you mentioned, we'll be covering, I'll say we, you'll be covering Vampire Weekend. Uh, what was on your bed covers as a wee boy, if you remember? Um, they would have been very sort of uh, quilty, quilty. You know, things. I never had uh, you know, a cartoon character duvets. I don't think we even had duvets when oh, I was really? a kid. <laughs> it's that long ago. <laughs> the, I, I had the A-Team on mine. I'm not sure why I had that one though. Did you not like the A-Team? Well, I did like the A-Team, but I thought, I never I remember sitting down and sitting in front of the A-Team. Enough I don't remember being familiar enough to, you know, sleep. All with, my with friends absolutely like. loved the A Team. I wasn't a big fan. It was on ITV. I was more of a BBC child. Yeah. yeah. So if you could pick a one that would be on your bed covers, uh, it would be Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben. Of course. My favourite ever children's program. He was my Halloween costume this year. That's oh, excellent. There yeah. you go. It, it pretty much was on my last album. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to mumble the theme song all through the night to impress girls. <laughs> Didn't work. Uh, right, next question. <laughs> better ways. Yeah. Alright, so in regards to uh, upcoming Smash Space Jail that we've been putting together over the last couple of episodes of this, uh, if I offered you the role of Commander Sebastian Erlock, the gentlemanly but devious warden of Space Jail, would you accept that? Uh, yes, although I don't think I'd be a very good prison warden, even in space. Um, I'm far too lenient and relaxed. And you know the uh, the evil uh, space aliens that are uh, incarcerated I therein would get the better of me. I think the way it's going at the moment, though, I think a lot of them have been falsely imprisoned. So there might be a think well twist. Yeah. When the hero, a kind of a short, floppy-haired guy named Drake Dawson, kind of kind of um, shoots his way through. But I think they become friends in the end. Um, 
Well, you see, to begin with, I would be uh, sort of saying, no, 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 they are incarcerated, I have to do my duty, but, you know, the stories, the human stories, well, alien stories, would come through, and I'd be won over to their liberal agenda. <laughs> Well, that is actually the, the end as written as well, which yeah. is where we were coming to an end. Although I'd probably die in the final revolt and everybody would cry. Yeah, yeah. kind of a don't cry for me, Argentina yeah. ending. Yeah. Um, right, sir, which of the following would you find more inspiring? A guy shouting up uh, to the window of a girl he loves on Christmas Eve, he's saying, oh, for you I'd make it snow, and just as he turns away defeated, a small snowflake comes out of the sky. It's fairly inspiring stuff. Yeah. Or the ending of Cool Runnings, where they carry a bobsled over there. I've never seen Cool Runnings. Oh, okay. This is a oh, hard question. Oh, oh for good me. lord! Um, I think I've, I think I made the first one a little too inspiring. If you haven't seen the mighty weight that is the emotional love in Cool Runnings. Well, to be honest, both of them are a little sickly sweet for my liking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I I prefer the sort of. Uh, Climbing out of the pipe at the end of uh, the Shawshank Redemption. Or Space Jail, the ending of the heartbreaking now ending Space Jail. Heartbreaking as uh, my character sadly gets uh, half eaten by a mad octopus alien. Can you, you want to be on the writing staff for this? Because you're doing a much better job than us. Uh, I have recently been to Disneyland. When was the last time you were horribly disappointed? <laughs> well, I've never been to Disneyland. I would. Um, even though she got me in The last time I was horribly disappointed. It was quite recently. Uh, I saw a film which I was very much looking forward to. Uh, uh, oh God, what was it called? Uh, you see, this is a case in point. 127 hours, was it? Is it a little too long? Oh yeah, I remember. Black Swan. Oh, yeah, um, that was disappointing. Unless we got that was disappointing. Black Swan. Oh, well, I mean, everybody seems to think that it's a masterpiece, whereas I thought it was a teen slasher movie, uh, kind of deserved to be on Living late at night. Um, no, it's dreadful. Very disappointing. So, ironically, my, one of my favourite films of last year was actually the <laughs> Yeah. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. If, you're gonna, if, if you've never seen the original, I think I would go and, and re-watch the new one. Will do. And yeah, I think it should be reasonably uh, brain calming. Um, next question, sir, is a kind of a. It's no tradition, is that we get advice from a lady. Someone writes in and they want you know a question answer, so having a bit of trouble or something. Mm -hmm. And this comes from. Um, I've lost your name, but hello. We'll call you Steph, like we always do. Um, hi Neil. Yeah. Hi Steph. <laughs> I've recently started dating a lovely young man who I just realised is the image of Robbie Williams. However, now all I can think of is I wish it was Barlow. How can I put this behind me? Um, by by stopping dating the person who looks like Robbie Williams <laughs> yeah. and dating someone who looks like Gary Barlow. I know, but easily done. You, would you recommend her going out on this quest? Of shunning every other. I can think of worse quests. <laughs> <laughs> of just kind of going through the five members to take that, or to take that look alike, even. Um, I mean, well, Robbie Williams. I'm reasonably experienced in this uh, department. Okay. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> A chilling view of the future there for Steph. Okay, sir. You famously sang about hitting the floor for tainted love. Yeah, Canadian band star saying that it's a little too fast to dance for. Does this blatant laziness sum up what's wrong with the youth of today? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, mine was a work of fiction. Uh, I don't. Well, think stars I'd, out there bloody every night. I haven't hit the floor for anything <laughs> yeah. for 20 years, um, and when I did, it was generally to "What Time Is Love" or some sort of late 80s, yeah. early 90s uh, shoegazy classic. Um, I, I think the youth of today are a fine, upstanding crowd of energetic individuals uh, who I'm sure uh, are, are very good at dancing. And who should listen to kind of Canadian naysayers. Uh, that's right, yes. Don't listen to them. If it's anything, uh, beside the railroad tracks, I've been dancing kind of under my duvet to that an awful lot. Because I can't sleep and that song is really helping me. It's just, it's in a mic, it's, a, it's kind of a nightmare, kind of, you know what I mean? What's wrong? Why can't you sleep? Oh, I keep having really bad dreams. 
Are you crying in them? Yes. Uh, and I'm yeah. seeing weird things. I explained one of my dreams to one of them and it's, I couldn't say it on camera. It involved my parents. This is going a whole Moving on. <laughs> right, sir. Uh, now this is another kind of theme question. It's the Quiz Christopherson's Christian Rock Band Table Quiz question, where our championship... Are you just taking your dreams and putting, putting them into the table quiz team? Yeah. Uh, this is our all-conquering table quiz team. Okay. And uh, a point that we love is the brain teaser. The brain teaser and um, part of the quiz. Yep. Such as, uh, give you an example, we had there last time it was, um, what's at the beginning, uh, what's at the end of time and the beginning of everything? Yeah. E. Well, I know that. Well, I, I, I didn't want, I didn't want to. I'm not to telling you. you. <laughs> right, so, and here's this one. What does yesterday always come after, well, when does yesterday always come after tomorrow? Is, this, is there an answer to this? There is an answer. When does yesterday always come after tomorrow? Uh, when you're going to see a Paul McCartney gig in two days' time. That is actually quite... <laughs> <laughs> that, wasn't, that answer was on the website though, oddly enough. But oh, right. I, I mean, what like, was your answer? answer? The answer I got was in the dictionary. Oh, very good. Yeah. But your answer... Not clever enough. Yeah, I think your answer is a lot better, sir. <laughs> Um, right, so second last question is, what is your favourite vampire and your favourite weekend? My favourite vampire is uh, the bat. Nice. My favourite weekend. Classic. My favourite weekend is the one coming up after this particular week. Yeah. When I can finally relax and uh, maybe lie in instead of coming to rehearsals <laughs> and have a few and partake of a few beverages indeed uh, mine is angel and the weekend before christmas there you go angel mm. um you mean it was a girly side of me oh angel in, in a buffy way. the vampire oh, slayer yes. yes and i like to bring for christmas because you have the 12 pubs which is a horribly bad habit no one should ever do it <laughs> <laughs> and sir um what how would you like to end this what line would you like to end this on so it looks really great on a best of montage when we come to the end of the series Okay. Uh, what about? Fuck you and your stupid questions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that a good way of it? That was perfect, sir. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That was Neil Hannon. Him, Jabe Romeo, and Cathy Davey are all playing in the JD set. They're covering Vampire Weekend on the 1st of April. Join Facebook, and um, I'm sure you're already on Facebook, but join JD on Facebook. Become a friend, and you can win lots of tickets and the like to that. So do that. Neil Hannon, you're a star. Thank you very much, sir. I'm a small demi star, but thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Sir, your pleasure. No, 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 seriously, baby, I can interview who I want, when I want, about what I want. You know what I mean? So just, do you want to be a star, do you? You want to be a star, baby girl? And prove you want to be a star.